I have a special Valentine delivery from Cupid. This is for, uh, please read what it says to who, to who it's who. To Jessica, the coupon hacker, or the coupon queen. Yes, that's right. There we it's go. all in TMI crew. We should Happy come Valentine's Day. together. Happy Valentine's <laughs> Day. Of course, a perfect little candy craft as well, because that's what we're I doing love it. for Thrifty Thursday today. Jessica, we, we usually have your meals that feed your family for under 10 bucks. But we like to get into the spirit yeah. of the holidays because people may be throwing, having some friends over or whatever. Yeah. Some quick ideas that if you haven't planned out yet, you still have plenty of time, you right? You do. You have plenty of time. This is brilliant. This is fun. This one is making edible confetti, which, as you can tell, if you can feel it, it gets nice and hard and nice, nice firm. And hard and taste and sticky it. And cupcakes. Yes. What do you, what do you it put is it edible. on? Mm. You could do anything. You could put it on cupcakes. You could just put it in cute little envelopes. You know, maybe yeah. just give it to somebody as a Valentine. It could probably put just decorate table. a table, too, right? Yeah, and let your kids eat it. You know, it's just kind of something fun maybe tonight, especially if you're not going out and you got, you're staying at home with your kids. Kind of make it cute yeah. and yeah. fun. So it is easy. So what would you do with it? It's super easy. So airheads is all you need. Which are like Love a candy airheads. from the past. They're yeah. still yeah. around, but they always remind me of my childhood. Yes. So you can do, and this is what's fun because airheads come in so many colors. So you can do it for any different mm -hmm. holiday. I use the strawberry, the cherry, and the mystery. Mystery. Because it's, <laughs> it's white. Yes. The idea is you just want to get Living them kind the of edge. warm. You know, you don't want to melt them too much, but just get them warm enough that they're pliable. Do you like heat them up or just like warm them in your yeah, hands? Yeah. You know, or? I found that heating it, be super careful. It, um, it's, it's amazing how quick it just turns hard. You know, rock hard. Oh, okay. So if you do, just do it for a couple seconds, or just try to get it kind of just warm. You know, with your hands. Stick in your armpit or something. Yep. Sit it. on them. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do that, and then uh, you just want to put Don't it on Don't tell people how you warmed it up, though, when you <laughs> serve it. So Don't tell them what body part it, it was is. touching. I'm you, amazed. Yeah, you just want to put it on some wax paper and okay. roll it out, and that's why you want it to be really pliable. Oh, and that's so, why we've got the rolling yeah, pin as well. That's okay. why we have that. So then, I just found if you at least kind of get it to be in a smaller, more pliable, workable, workable yeah. thing. And then you're just taking hole punches. A craft hole punch. You're using yep. hole punches. And, these are, and, and some of yep. these are heart-shaped, right? Oh, You've got circle I and heart-shaped. Heart -shaped. Yep. They're so working on eating. These? You can get them at any craft store. These ones are actually for food grade, but you can use normal you ones. You can figure out how to use it. Yep. Perfect. <laughs> and you just punch just it. Just punch them out, and, and then voila. we get all the confetti like this. Yep. And quickly, uh, before we go in this segment, you have a, uh, an edible yes. love note. To make a Easiest little thing ever. You can do this this morning before your kids go to school. Take a banana. And just use a right, toothpick. Right, the most embarrassing thing you can to them. Yep, yep. So you don't even want to see the ones that my kids did this morning. They're not here for a reason. See, it's the confetti on there. And by the time they get to lunch, it'll already be bruised enough to show the message on the There phone. you go. Awesome. So kind of a revealing that. message. Invisible yeah. at first, shows That's up right. later. So a couple easy crafts. We've got more coming up as well for yes, your party. A little bit more intense ones as well. Yes. So more Thrifty Thursday coming up after this while we eat our little confettis. Brie and, and Spencer, I'm not over there because I'm sick, you guys, and I don't want to get... Don't breathe on our I breakfast I don't want to breathe on, on all the treats. All right. Well, Jessica <laughs> is here for part two of Thrifty Thursday today. We were using these earlier because we made some homemade confetti. Yep. Edible confetti out of those airhead candies. Yes. We got some more ideas a little bit more involved, but still plenty of time to do them if maybe you haven't planned ahead for your party, right? Absolutely. And yeah. so affordable. They yeah. really are. They're super easy. Strawberries right now, you would think it was the peak season for them. It's just, it's Valentine's. They're, They're really everywhere. cheap. They're everywhere. Mm. You can pick up. I mean, it, this you know is a pound of them for I mean anywhere from a dollar fifty to two dollars, and they and look good. They're, they're really, really good. Yeah, they're really really good. So this one is another really simple one. You just want to pick, you know, any of them. Of course, you want to get rid of the stem. <laughs> That's always the part I yes. have left when I do strawberries in, in fondue. Yes. And I'm like, yeah. what, do I, what, do, I, what do I do with this? Huh? Yes, exactly. So take them off, and then you just want to do a slit. Be really careful. And you want to make a slit. Because this, this comes in handy for the shape that you're making. Yes, and so that way it ends up, you know, because when you cut it in half, Looking you have like a heart. Okay. Yep. So then when you cut it in half, you end up with this really cute How easy is that? Heart. Hearts. Oh, and then you just yeah. made some kebabs of yeah. them, basically, right? Yeah, I just right? stuck them on, on, on skewers. Look so at that. Perfect yep. for fondue. I am going to do fondue tonight. you got to do yep. the fondue. Do the fondue. Yes, yes. That's and perfect. And so it's perfect. So then you can. You can dip them into your chocolate for fondue or, you know. Or even just for presentation. Yeah, they're, they're there. Just, they're they're decoration. Yep, they're great. Okay, those are great. I'm n I don't mean to, you know, undermine those. Yes. But let's move on to the real part of this. I mean, we've got some bacon in the house can't. once again. I know. I can't even. We've got bacon wow. roses. Bacon <laughs> so roses, making flowers out of the best meat ever. What exactly? What every man wants for Valentine's Day. Yeah, who would? I would want those. Yeah, yeah okay. women too. There you go. <laughs> but yeah, they're really easy. Just take. You want some? Start with some really thick bacon because it's going to obviously it's going to cook down a lot. Okay. So do really thick strips. Just roll it pretty tight. And I'm using a mini muffin tin. Uh, you could use any. of This just works because it helps hold the size of it. Yeah. Right. But stick them all in there, standing up. 
like that. Do you poke them with the toothpick or anything, or do you they just kind of keep their shape in the muffin You don't tins? need to. Yeah, awesome. if, if you're not putting them in one of these, I probably would use toothpicks just to kind of help because they are going to kind of expand. So, um, but just cook them. I cooked them at 400 degrees uh, for about 20 minutes or so until they're done. The thicker ones took a little bit longer. But then after they're done, um, the roses, I bought Look at a. This. Yes, I just, and they're, I know they're all kind of attached in there. Ah! I know some of them are like on two, but they're, what's fun is you can get these flowers. They're, they're fake flowers. They're uh -huh. cheap. I picked them up at the dollar store. Obviously, I got a whole bunch for a dollar. Uh, so it's really frugal. Take the roses off, and which then, of course, you can you cut up the, the petal. And, and use it as decoration. Yes, yep, and to you're, decorate. You're kind of like a hunter. You don't let any part go to waste. No, right? you've got to use <laughs> it you go all. To the dollar Everything store gets and then, used. Yeah. Yes, and then that way you're just left with the bud. So then I've just taken, I kind of made a mess of my chocolate here. <laughs> but just put some chocolate on the bottom. And this is the second time in a week, I might add, that we've had chocolate on bacon, and it is an amazing Isn't combination. It amazing? Don't doubt it until you try it. And yeah. just stick it on just there. Just stick it on top of there. And yep. lovely centerpiece, lovely gift, lovely yeah. party favor, whatever. Exactly. Just however you're planning on using it. it. So you're Not baking. necessarily good for your heart, but no. good for your heart. Good for Maybe your for smiley the love heart. Of bacon. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so we so thanks so much for going over these. Again, we've got the edible confetti. Just roll out That's those right. airheads. We've got the love notes on yep. your bananas with the toothpick. They're kind of invisible at first. They are, yep. They invisible. appear later when your kids pull them out of their lunchbox and they can yep. see what mommy said about them. Maybe it's something yep. embarrassing. And we're going <laughs> to announce all of yeah. this on our website so that if you need some ideas, then you could go over to our website. And we also had Lori Wren, our cupcake queen, in last week with a really good recipe for fondue. Oh, so you could pair so with the fondue. Yeah, yeah with, there you go. You could pair you your uh, strawberries with your fondue mm -hmm. recipe. So thanks so, thanks so much for this Thrifty Thursday Valentine's Day.